Here's a little story, get a load of this one. It's a BJ42LX. The LX, we don't do too many walk-arounds of these. They're super duper rare and they're super cool. And the story behind this little LX is just as cool. This one belongs to Ian. Now Ian purchased this brand spanking new. It's a six month 1984. Now Ian already owned a shorty. He owned a little petrol soft top. He owned it for 10 years. He bought it for six grand. And 10 years later, he sold it. He traded it in on this brand new. He traded it in for 6,900. So the bill left on this brand new was 10 grand. He left a dealership and casino with a bill for 10 grand and bought himself an LX, the holy grail. And we'll go through some of the little features on it. The, the, the exterior giveaways, it's got a little badge right here saying LX, showing that it's the LX model. And the triple wiper, you don't see too many of those. Uh, most people in the 40s know about it, but that's got three windscreen wipers on the LX model. Now, they came in FJ and BJ. This is a BJ42, so it means it's a four-cylinder diesel. And actually, we'll go straight under the engine, into the engine bay, and have a look at the little diesel. It is immaculate. How sweet is it under here? This is the little 3B. Now, this one, has been refurbished or reconditioned. Ian drives this as a daily. Every single day of the week, since 1984, he doesn't have another car. This is the man's daily. It's in such good condition because he looks after it. And unknown K's on the engine. The, the odometer stopped 25 years ago, he said. So it's done big K's and now the engine's reconditioned. And you can tell there's not an oil leak or weep anywhere. You look down here at the, um, the starter and the injector pump, they look brand new. It's, it's so nice under here. I noticed um, just little things. This is the uh, super glow in the earlier diesels were glow back on the key. They evolved, Toyota, Toyota got it. So you just turn the key forward, introduce the super glow. That's pretty cool. What else is cool, LX had the power steer. So this has got factory power steer. And with the Alex, you had options. You could choose a five speed, which Ian did, because they also came in four speed, and you could choose aircon, which Ian did not. So this one doesn't have the aircon, but by 1984 and the 80s, they have disc brakes. It's got all the cool stuff. Uh, well, why it's in Mr. Land Cruiser? Well, we got the bonnet up. It's, um, it's here for a reason. They're always here for a reason, not just a walk around. Now this one was um, having starting and shutting down problems, uh, brand new battery, just draining it flat. There was uh, multiple electrical problems with this one. Um, the edict motor was totally C solid. That was um, stripped down and refurbed. There was just old redundant, um, from battery terminals to wiring, just a few little redundant things in there that were causing gremlins. So. Uh, Richard went right through this one and have just got rid of with all the gremlins. Now Ian's going to be stoked. Ian's driven um, over four hours to get the car here just so um, Richard could have a look at it. He's going to be stoked when he picks it up today and there is no more gremlins inside this beast. Now, I've already said that Ian has owned this since day dot about 15 years ago. Um, he addressed the rust and had some paintwork done. So. Uh, it's an old Toyota, they rust, they, that's why it looks so good. He just keeps on top of the maintenance and 15 years ago he's had the paint done, the rust done and that's why I can see this hood lining that doesn't belong there. But that's about it. What's really cool and um, you'll see a lot of walk-arounds or if you're into them you'll know they come this year, these years they come with grey seats, grey seat belts, not the LX. They have these stripy pattern seat belts in brown, that's all factory. They've got um, brown floor, so all the um, vinyl is in brown, and then they've got uh, seat belts, all in brown. We've got these on the website now for anyone doing restos and sixties. You go to brown, and just trims. You see this plastic trim up here? There's one um, on both sides. You're not going to find them in your other models. Now we're also doing a walk around on another LX that's on the hoist right now, and. That'll be in a few weeks' time. If you're going to watch that, there'll be you'll see the rear seat set up as well. These things came with six seats. Uh, legally, you could throw six forward-facing people in them. And in the back, they've got what the other models don't have. 
um, armrests, uh, all the trims just to hide all the bare steel. So the 40 series is an agricultural car built for farms, mining, etc. But this one actually had the family in mind and it's a little beauty. Ian hasn't done anything, no consoles, no this, no that. He's got a uh, cassette deck, a Pioneer deck. It looks like it's been in there, um, dealer fitted. It's that old and retro. And then nothing, I can't pick a, um, a drill hole, a gauge or anything. This is just, um, again, it's not agricultural. This is the, um, the little family car. So this is Ian Staley and it's in absolutely immaculate condition in here. So I was just inside, I'm talking about the trim. Let's actually open the door and see. This is the little cover, the trims, the door cards up the front. We've got the handles. Also back here, you can tell the man garage is this. It has had paint and panel work, but the floor's immaculate still. It's in really, really nice condition. So this one is 1984. So um, they call it, um, it's a beige four, 64 is the paint code and the one behind me is uh 1970 that's in the 70s so in in the um eighth month 84 they sort of came out with this color and that's your other beige behind me that's called a 416 versus 4464 so you're two different beiges you, you can see them side by side they're both factory colors you know um, this is my personal favorite i love it both my cars I've painted this colour, I can't help myself, so. Again, Ian's on his way now. One of the lads has gone to pick him up from the train station. He's got a four hour drive home, but at least he knows his gremlins are gone. He's met um, everyone here at Mr. Land Cruiser. He hadn't heard of us, so when he walked in here, he just took photos of absolutely everything. It's just such a fun playground. More important for us, it's um, always nice to meet a new enthusiast and somebody that's been into these um, his first one was in 1974 and now he owns this, BJ42.